Can you use an air tag to track your dog? Hi, I'm Keith from Pocket Puppy School, and today we're going to talk about the Apple Air Tag. If you've ever heard of this small indie company called Apple before, then I'm pretty sure you know what this is. But if you hunt, this is an AirTag, and it's one of the most popular electronic devices in the world. It was released by Apple back in 2021, and its purpose is simple. It helps you find your lost things. Typically, people put it in things such as suitcases, wallets and bags, but practically, there are no limits. Anything that you can put it on, you can find. But what if you put it on something that isn't a thing? What if you put it on your dog's collar? If your dog were to ever get lost, can you rely on this to help you find your lost dog? Well, Apple says no. No, you can't. But why? To find an answer to this, we got an Apple AirTag for ourselves and we've been testing it for a couple of months now. This is our review of the Apple AirTag as a dog tracker. Compared to other dog GPS trackers, the Apple AirTag is surprisingly affordable. Normal dog GPS trackers can cost anywhere between 50 to 1000 bucks. Plus, they normally have a monthly subscription with them. Apple AirTag, however, only costs around 25 to 40 bucks. And the only recurring payment that you have to do is changing the coin battery within this only once a year. But to keep it safely on your dog, you're also going to have to get a specific collar. We got a KeePaws collar because not only does it look cool, it is also specifically designed to hold the AirTag safely on your dog. If you want to get one for yourself, make sure to use our code PPS to get it 15% cheaper. But when it comes to Apple, obviously not everything is that simple. One of the biggest paywalls that the AirTag has for some people is the fact that you have to have an iPad or an iPhone for the AirTag to start in the first place. When you get your AirTag, you first have to pair it with a device and only then can you start seeing where it is. And knowing how much new iPhones and iPads cost, that can be a pretty big paywall for some people. But speaking about iPhones and iPads, let's quickly talk about how the AirTag works in the first place. How does this little thing make anything findable? You see, it's actually quite simple. The AirTag is nothing more than a Bluetooth emitting device. I like to think about it like a little thing that always plays music and the ears that listen to the music are iPhones and iPads. And what that means practically is that whenever your AirTag passes by any of the billions of iPhones or iPads that are out in the world, you will get an update to your AirTag's location, which is both good and bad. The good news is that that way, this little device doesn't actually have to work a lot and the battery can last up to a year. The bad thing, however, is the fact that this only works when it goes near iPhones and iPads. Now thankfully this isn't such a big issue in cities because there are a lot of people with a lot of Apple devices. However, as soon as your dog were to go to the woods, all of the GPS tracking will immediately stop. Unless there by some magic are some random iPhones in the forest, you're gonna be pretty screwed. But this isn't actually the main reason why Apple doesn't support this. You see, the real reason are the dogs themselves. For example, with suitcases, the real only threat that the AirTag faces is it bouncing around a little, which is nothing really. With dogs, however, stuff like biting, swallowing, going into the sea, anything is a possibility. That is why Apple can't support AirTags with dogs. They do not want to be held reliable for the damage caused by and to air tags. You see, even though the air tag looks sturdy and stylish, it isn't actually that strong to withstand dogs and the environment that they live in. 
that is the main reason. But I think that if you are a responsible dog parent who's not gonna let their dog destroy this thing, then I think that this is a perfectly fine thing to use. What I like to do is I like to actually use the air tag alongside a couple other things. As I said before, we have a key pass collar which can hold the air tag nicely. But we also like to use the Tractive GPS Tracker, which ensures that even if our dog were to run to the woods, we can definitely find our dog even there. The air tag is a nice addition to the GPS Tracker because even if the tracker's battery were to die, the air tag most definitely at some point can give us our dog's location. Then we also like to use a QR code pet tag because if somebody actually finds our dog, a QR code pet tag can give them a lot of information about our dog and how to contact us. And if everything else fails, a good old dog tag is also there. Now, over to you guys. What do you think about the air tag? Do you think that it's worth it? Or would you rather spend more money and get an actual dog GPS tracker? Let us know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.